Hi everyone. I had a wonderful morning this morning where my good friend Khadija came over to Baltimore to do a photo shoot and of course I was dressed up super super fancy and I used one of my ruffled wave stashes to create this very lush thing on the side of my head and I posted a picture of myself on Rapunzel fan group in the morning and of course I was asked how did you do that and it's super easy so now the photo shoot is over I have changed into my cleaning the house clothes yes this is a jersey scarf yes be excited um, it's awesome and I have my ruffled wave stash this is the one from the truffle berry kit and I'm just going to show you what I did with the stash you know underneath I have um, in the in the photo shoot I had like a lace tickle and a cream shimmery but the real trick is what to do with the ruffled wave stash so what I did is I tied it around my head with, as you can see, one end is short and one end is long. These are very long and to get it to lay flat on your head, you have to kind of stretch it out. And I tied it to one side. And again, I'm hoping that I can recreate what I did because it was kind of a happy accident. Now I'm taking this, bringing it around the back, and then I'm going to take this and just tie it. Now what I did this morning is I let this, oh wow, this was, this one is, seems to be quite a bit longer than the one I was dealing with this morning. So I let one end kind of hang down. And now what I did is I kind of just looped it, kind of, I'll stand to the side even though I can't see what I'm doing but hopefully you can see what I'm doing and I then kind of loop it around and let the back hang down and then you can kind of play with what shape you want I'm personally because I have a smaller face I don't like to have a huge huge flower beside my face so I like to kind of pat it down and now I'm taking my pearl cluster pin you can use any pin as far as I know I like this one I don't know. And this is one of those things that you just have to play around with. I definitely played around with mine this morning. Oh, my face is sharp enough. Okay, that didn't work. Didn't want to cut myself. It was not going through. Okay, let's try again. It's a fun thing about these videos is you get to see my thought process. And they don't work out. Okay, there, I kind of did that. Try this again. This is a smaller pin than the one I used this morning. Let's try it again. Okay. Yeah, this ruffled wave stash is actually also a lot bigger. So I'm using a smaller pin and a bigger stash. But it still seems to be working. Just make sure that you grab something that is underneath the poop. And don't hit prick your fingers. There, I have it all through. It's a lot of fabric. And now I pinned it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Wow. I like that. So I think I like this even better than what I had this morning. So as you can see, it is totally a learning curve. I would probably flatten this a little closer to my head next time, but I think I'll deal with this for now. There we go. And then, you know, you can pull out certain ends out the back. And I'm going to pull one down there, make it a little flatter. Um, I personally like the fact that this is sticking out, but maybe in the future um, I would have the pin lying a little more flat on the side to make it a little flatter. So I hope you enjoy this idea. Um, this is something you can do with other sashes, but the ruffled waves is perfect for it because it creates these voluminous waves. Okay, bye!